Autumn's starting up, and so are we. This is the Schomburg Daily. We will be releasing a new pin in October. We can't wait for the fans to see what we've got in store for them. These high quality enamel pins are limited edition and they will not be restocked. Keep an eye on our social media, at Swan Princess Official, for the new pin announcement. Which character do you think this new pin will be? Tag us in your guesses at Swan Princess Official or email us at Odette at SwanPrincess.com. Purchase pins from the official Swan Princess Limited Edition collection down in the description below. This month, Princess Odette had the honor of attending the Mascot Bowl with the Mascot Miracles Foundation. NBA, NFL, and NHL mascots from all over the United States came over to play football against the Harriman City 8th grade football team to raise funds to take underprivileged children Christmas shopping. They all signed autographs and took pictures with guests before the game. The mascots won by a single point, and our dear Princess Odette was the only princess in attendance. To follow Princess Odette's adventures with the Mascot Miracles Foundation, you can check out the description below. We are pleased to announce the new custom top by designer Sharna Lafara is now available for purchase. This fun top is made to order to your measurements with our exclusive 100% cotton Swamp Princess print fabric. Check out three different ways to wear it with our wonderful Ellie right here. You can also pair it with one of the matching skirt designs and have it become a dress. There is just so many things you can do with it. If you want to find out about the designer or more details about the clothing, check out the description below. Have you noticed the Slezzle button on your site? You can now break down purchases into four easy pavements. This is a greater for large purchases like this one-of-a-kind John Bob autographed art cell. We've been seeing that there's an influx of art cell purchases lately, and mostly it's probably due because of this. So if you want a good scene and have been thinking about it, now's a good time to do it. Speaking of, keep an eye out for our giveaway. We are giving away three hand-drawn art cells used in the production of the Swan Princess movie. That's three chances to win. The first art cell giveaway will go to one lucky winner for signing up for our email list in the description below. The two other art cells will be given to winners that enter our monthly challenge. This month, the challenge includes sending in screenshots of your gameplay of Cosplay Runway. Play the game and learn more about the challenges in the description. And now for the product showcase, to showcase what's new, interesting, or pretty cool for around this time of year. Speaking of being cool for this time of year, we have the Princess Odette costume dress and accessories. Just in time to order to get in time for Halloween and all the parties before the day of, our Princess Odette costumes are 10% off. Available for adults, children's, and dolls, and that does include plus sizes. Children's costume accessories with it are also 10% off, so if you're thinking about being the Swan Princess this year, it's a good time to check out the description. And now for the Q&A corner, where fans have the questions and we have the answers. This one was from one of our very loving fans, the Wicked Merman, who has sent in uh, asks before. The question is, were Rothbart and Zelda romantically involved before he betrayed her? We asked the script writer for number three, and well, all of them, Brian Neeson, and he had this to say. No. Rothbart is a classic narcissist. He sees everyone around him as a tool to get what he wants. But when he realized he could not recover the Forbidden Arts without Zelda's help, he did pretend to be romantically inclined toward her. The relationship came to a sudden end when Zelda supplied the missing piece that brought the Forbidden Arts back to life. She tried to use the Forbidden Arts to cast a love spell, but not before Rothbard created a hard casing around his heart. That Derek's arrow was able to puncture in his battle with the great animal has been a matter of conjecture among Swan Princess historians. Was Derek that powerful of an archer, or did the hard casing disappear in Rothbard's transformation into the great animal? That's really interesting, especially if it's the writer himself who, you know, canon man with his canon plan it's cool makes you think like i personally think just derek would and just, but that's just me <laughs> that's just me so that's about it for this one um 
Yeah, not too much, but again, we are just starting up. The school year is starting up, we're starting up, and we're starting to get into the fun holiday zone. The Halloweens, the Christmases, the everything in between, whatever you celebrate. And we'd love to know what you're going to be up to this Halloween season in particular, because, ooh, it's going to be fun spooky times. But yeah, that's it for me. So have a good day and see you soon.